Let's talk about CapCut Pro versus CapCut Free. So I used CapCut Free for about six months and then I decided to pull the trigger and get CapCut Pro. And I think it's a game changer. So for this video, I think I could sit here and list like all the hundred things you get with CapCut Pro, but what I wanna do is really kinda be realistic and break down the core essentials of what's gonna change the game with the Pro version for you as a creator. Because I value your time and I feel like you don't need an 18 minute video to get this done. So let's jump into CapCut and I'm gonna show you this. So if we bring a video here into CapCut and chances are you're already aware of this and if you're not, uh, guys, CapCut is the easiest video editor on the planet and this is what you need to download to learn. I literally teach people how to video edit in like 10 minutes, it's so easy. All right, so what we need to do here is bring a video down in the editing timeline, right? So for starters, the first thing that you get with Pro that is different versus the free version is the audio. As you can see here, all this copyright free stock music that you can use in your videos is available with the Pro version. A lot of people don't know this, but when you actually pay for CapCut Pro, you get to use this music in your videos and it's openly available. This means this is gonna save us a lot of money on buying it. those memberships like Epidemic Sounds or Artlist or Musicbed, this is gonna save you money in itself. I think an Epidemic Sounds membership is like 18 to 20 dollars a month and we have all these genres just there's a huge archive here. So the next thing here this is the biggest and most crucial factor of why the pro version is better than free and that is the effects tab over here. See the effects here? So this is a video that I have in here where it's just like a talking head video but if I go ahead and I start adding some of these effects like watch how this video changes here. I'm gonna move this down a little bit I can do, um, and again, you can see the trending ones, they're all pro version ones, right? The wobble's really important, or I shouldn't say important, but it's really popular. Let's try that one. See how that, see that wobble? Like that saves you from editing all of that. Let's take a look at some of these other ones. Uh, the tracking shot, if we click on that. And again, this might not be your style. There's the zoom lens, you can click on that. I've literally changed my entire videos just with the effects and you can save tons and tons of time. This one's cool, right? And again, they have lists and lists of these and if you have the pro version, there's like endless amounts of them versus the free version. Like this tracking shot right here. And again, some of them go too close in. Uh, we have the landscape, this one's cool. See this one? Then moving on to the transitions, the transitions are really cool as well. Like we have the bounce distort, the shift up, the crackling. I'm not huge on like crazy transitions. A lot of times I don't even use transitions, but you can see all the most popular ones are the pro version ones. All right, so this next feature is a ultimate game changer as well. This is the AI video editing. If we click this button here where it says transcript based editing, that's what we want. What it's gonna do here is it's gonna analyze your video and it's gonna use AI to essentially think of where you're gonna need edit edits on your video. I use this on every single video and I absolutely love it. All right, so it's finished here. Again, this is the pro version only, guys. So if I drop down here, I can, I can choose. Do I want it to remove all the pauses, all the hesitation, all the repetition? AI will do this and guys, this is probably single-handedly my favorite feature. So I, what I like to do here is I'll remove the hesitations, the repetition, and then I'll click delete and it has automatically done all of that to the video. See all these cuts in here, the splits? Again, so if I zoom in here, you can see here, it has removed all of that and it is essentially edited the entire video for me. I don't even like telling people this because it's crazy. That being said, guys, I feel like I'm helping you out a lot here. Consider signing up with CapCut Pro using my affiliate link in the description. It's cheap, guys, for a video editor. It's arguably the cheapest editor on the planet right now, and it does all the same cool stuff as the other one. I have 10 YouTube channels, I do this full time, and I still use CapCut as my main video editor. So as you can see here, it's removed all the dead all the dead space. Maybe I have to come in here and I have to clean up some of this, you know what I mean? Uh, just play it. I can see here there's a little dead space right here. If I click there and drop and drag here. But guys, this makes editing so much easier here, and again, like, my mind is blown that we can even do this because I save so much time doing this. I'm gonna keep screaming that. So I feel like those features in themselves are crazy, right? And I haven't even I haven't even opened up the floodgates to captions yet. There's auto captions, there's filters, there's a ton of pro version filters that you can be adding to your videos that are super, super cool. Uh, there's templates, I can adjust things, I can do AI characters. 
Uh, the AI character thing is like freakishly good. It's like frightening. If you're into that type of thing, it's really cool. They do like AI voiceover type things. What we can also do is I can remove the background, uh, the pro version on, if I go over here, remove background, and it says auto removal. So if you're into auto removing the background, the pro version has that, which is huge. It's crucial. So if I click that right there and I auto remove the background, give that a second to process. You can see here, it has automatically removed the background of my video in seconds. So like, uh, it's insane. I could put anything on the background over this. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is if you're not convinced that CapCut Pro is worth it yet versus CapCut Free, I don't know what to tell you. This is only me just going over like, I, I barely took a blip at like what you can do with it. Again, consider signing up using my affiliate link in the description. And hit me up in the comments. What are you editing? Are you a creator? Are you a YouTuber, Instagrammer? Hit me up. I love hearing from you guys. And please consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.